Thank you. Susan, I was worried that this baby little corns that you planted will not have the time to develop anything. Well, but you do. picked one. <laughs> Although they're small, they're quite full. Oh, they're full and they're juicy. They're not dry, so that one comes to us, not that one. So, we have another one there. I will show you here. For us, all the hens. And this is, this is again... This is not ready yet. It's not ready, so... So we should not harvest those ones no, yet. No, we shouldn't. We'll leave that a little while, but... Now it's see the hens can eat it. Yeah. Okay, I have one there which I'm sure that is ready. Let's go and see that one. Yeah. It's better to harvest all of these sweet corns. I don't think we have time for them to grow to anything. They're not going to the yeah. market, We they? feed them to the chickens, you yeah, see that. Are. There is a few, yeah, they can enjoy yeah, that. Yes. But I will keep this pumpkin here, this winter squash. Uh, butternut squash, just to... Leave it. It you, you can leave it, I will remove it later. Okay. Just uh, harvest the whatever is there. Okay. But be careful with the well, other plants. Is there there is there? one here, one yeah, here. Yeah. Just little ones, baby things, you can yeah, feed it to chickens. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Just wait, we have here, we have here, we have here. I'll let you look, is it locked or is it just closed? No, I will. You must come and open. Yeah, I'll open. Yeah. Just hold these things. Yeah. As you see, they're very tiny, they're baby. Their hands are lovely. There you go. Yeah. You don't need even to skin them, probably they will yeah. do it themselves. Yeah, they can. I will just open them a little bit. Is there anything here we can feed it to them? Yeah. Or probably we can remove all the foliage yeah. also. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, I have a one butternut squash plant which has given two fruits. They look almost ripe. The plant is very manky and it's not going to grow any bigger. I need this land for growing other crop. There's another courgette there which is, has done its job. There's one marrow. I will harvest them and uh, take them to the kitchen to prepare for eating for tonight probably. But beside that, that's it. This uh, one meter by one and a half meter, 120 uh, um, is ready for doing the sowing. These are the sowing for winter I'm doing. So these are lettuces from our own seed, and that is the Persian crest from our own seed. And beside it, you can see uh, some of the spinach, which I've grown also from our own seed. So I'm going to repeat that here with another set of the crops. I have uprooted the plants and as you can see the crop is here. I've cut the how to cut. Uh, you cut not from here, you keep the top. You cut from here, you cut from here. So if there is any rot, it will not go down to this way. This way you keep it dry and safe from the molding. So two button of squash, not very big, but enough for a meal, and one marrow. Okay, next to this uh, lettuce and uh, Persian cress and um, spinach, I have bed. I've created this uh, space, one meter, one one point twenty. And uh, I'm now going to uh, make drills and plant something in it. And I'll show you the seeds that I'm going to sow here. Okay, I will use this fine hole to make drills here. So what I will do is just pull the hole toward myself and make a little drill. Then I will add water to it. To make the bed moist, I will do it and I will show you how I end it up. Okay, I have made the drills, and now I will water them to keep the soil moist for the seed and ready for the sowing. I have made one, two, three, four drills. What I'm going now to do is to water the drills thoroughly so the seed will grow in a well 
moist and watered bed or a drill as we call it and as you see the soil is very good and dry and well drained it empties the water very quickly